Hello buddy and welcome back to Loud Monkey. Today we will be playing some Dungeons and Dragons Open D&D where you guys the viewers can come in and play Dungeons and Dragons with me and all the other viewers who decide to show up. Open D&D is where you guys, as said, the viewers can play with me and the others in the awesome world of Hyphener. Do you care to introduce your, your character real quick? Um, don't have to give the whole background, just race, class, uh, level, such. You, you want to do it or you want me to do it? Sorry, my uh, Discord cut out for a second. It's your character, so please introduce your, your character. Alrighty. I am Goku Strongarm, Paladin, and I believe in fighting for what's right no matter what stands in my way. That's nice. Uh, what level are you? Uh, level 1, human. Um, Goku, you walk... Well, English. Um, wait, two seconds. Yep, yeah, okay. Goku, you walk uh, around your, your close little neighborhood. As you uh, as you see two strangers just walk past uh, past your town, as they are talking about this voice that they have been hearing, then you recall back that you've heard a, a voice just like they're describing, and so you decide to to just knock it in the back of your head. After a few days, the curiosity of these guys talking about the voice that you've heard suddenly just burst out in front of your head. Okay, you need to, you need to, what is, you need to investigate this. And so you walked in the same direction that these guys were walking in, following the very vague trails that they have left behind. Um, okay. You come after some time walking around you come to this well small encampment um now following these guys' trail this small encampment you see just almost a handful of houses standing there and as you come closer you hear the banging on a hammer on metal um as I get closer, I'm wary, but I maintain my current pace to try to, you know, peek around to see what what's making the sound. Um, as you come closer, I should probably. Uh, should probably update your character, your character token. Great. Okay, the token on the board right now should be your. You, you should be able to move with that. Okay, got it. Uh, Let me just test it real quick. Make yep. Okay, I should be able to move it and move it back. All right, cool. Cool. Just want to. Okay. Uh, that is very helpful when we when and if we come to combat. Um. So yeah, you walk around and you hear this banging on metal. As you walk down um, from your character's perspective, the house on the left, uh, so our right, you you hear the hammer, uh, the hammering, hammering is coming from that house. Um, let's see. You don't uh, you don't see any other uh, life in this uh, small town village thing. Uh, I look up to at the top to to of the building that you're describing. Do I see any smoke or anything? Yes. Okay. Um, what do I need to roll to figure out to see if it is a blacksmith? Because obviously I know it's a blacksmith, but my character may not know it's a blacksmith. Uh, it's about to say investigation. I don't think that it is here. It is investigation. Okay. 
You very well know that this is a blacksmith. Okay. So I'm I'm a little uh, I continue forward with a little less hesitance, uh, but I also make sure to keep an eye on the the building to my character's left. Or sorry, my character's right. That would be my left. As you walk past it, you look up to to get a glimpse of what kind of building it is. As you look up, you see mission control is is centered above the. There's a little porch and you need to go up to get to the table. Above the porch, before the wall of the house itself, you see mission control uh, set there. Right below it, you see a table standing on there with some papers laying around. Um, flapping in the in the very slight wind there is. Okay. Uh, and there's no one sitting there? No. Okay. Um not wanting to uh, impose, I walk past it to see if I can get a better view of the blacksmith. How far do you want me to, to move up? Oh, you can just move where you want. Um, okay, I'm going to move right there. As you come in front, you, you see uh some old letters have been... You, you see um, the name on the front basically standing uh, right there. Uh, you see the name, or there's a name put up there, Timothy's Blacksmith. Um, and where Timothy uh, stands, you see some grayed out letter in the background. Um, as though they have there had been hang, hung other letters there prior. But have now been changed out with Timothy. Do I recognize the letters, or uh, do I recognize any words from the previous letters that were hanging there? Uh, you recognize enough to guess that it's probably a name that has been stood there prior, but you can't really see the name itself. Okay. Um, because of Timothy's just plaster on top of it. Okay. Um. That, and I can't remember the name of the old blacksmith. So, from where my character's at right now to his right, um, I kind of look over at that little structure, because it looks like there's some kind of small structure. That thing? Uh, yes. That's a cart. Okay. Most likely used to uh, pull wood and stone, whatever materials that there is found around. Okay. Uh... I guess I will come up to here to, you know, up the path a little bit to here uh, to see if I can get a view of the blacksmith himself. Uh, right but... there, he's still, uh, he's still obscured. Um, but you definitely see, you definitely see the starting of a, a workspace. Um, and sometimes you see, uh, or the metal shards just flying off hitting the wall um, as right after you hear a clang with the hammer you see some shards just hitting the wall um, and as a blacksmith sometimes the hammering stops because he's going over to reheat the metal uh, as you now recognize that that is what he has done now just standing there uh, with the metal the hammering stopped for just a minute. Okay. Um, I'm gonna walk over toward this, uh, what I uh, what looks to be a pond. Because I don't want to interrupt the blacksmith while he's doing his thing. I just wanted to see if I could see him. From there, you ba you can see him. Okay. Uh, Do I, and I take a, I take a closer look at the pond. Uh, is it, you know, just looking to see how clear the water is see if there's anything because I'm a little on on guard because of the the voices in my head so I want to you know see if there's anything going on with this area before I talk to anybody you see a few gold coins laying at the bottom of this uh, of this pond you also see a hole uh, all the way to one end all the way over here you see a hole leading away uh, you can't see far enough in there, um, but the water is very clear. The water is surprisingly clear. 
All right. So I'm going to leave the gold coins where they are because it's not in a paladin's nature to take what's not his. Depends so on I'm what gonna... card you have. Yeah. Well, my, my, my idea was, uh, or my, my thing that I said at the beginning was I'll do what's right no matter what stands in my way. So, yeah, yeah, I know. But playing off of that, I'll keep walking up the path a little bit. Uh, do I see that other structure just past the blacksmith? Yeah. Um, and um, you, you see the names written around this curve here, where it just says general store. Okay. Uh, do -do. All right, so I'll go ahead and move toward here. Do I, uh, well, here, do I see anything else about the store? Uh, you see all the lights inside it is empty or it's closed. Um, you don't hear anything inside, inside of the building as you're just standing there uh, looking around. Um, the store itself doesn't appear to have any life inside of it. Uh... Okay. Um, I guess I will move toward the final structure right here do i notice anything about that final structure as you come closer you see that on on top of the door it says adventures uh, adventures quarters okay uh i guess i'll do the obvious and i'll go knock on the door um as you go knock on the door you you there's no immediate response but as you wait a bit, you, you hear some snoring from the inside. Uh, what time of day is it? It's around midday. Okay. Um, I'll knock on the door one more time. And still no response. Okay. Um, I will start walking away back toward the blacksmith. I think I just drew something. I don't know how to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, if you take take the the mouse select move tool, you should be able to uh, highlight it. Gotcha. All right. So I'll move back toward the blacksmith. As you move back towards the blacksmith, um, you get eye contact with the blacksmith as he visibly becomes more. Uh, uh, he, he makes himself more presentable even with all the sweat and, and metal dust and dirt he has gathered on him over over the time working. Uh, he placed a red hot iron um, on the ground leaning on top uh, leaning up the uh, the edge of the, the forge itself. Okay. Uh, uh I wave at him. Where? Oh, there you go. Um, as you wave, he comes closer to you. Oh! Okay. Hello, mate. Hello there. What is your name, sir? Ah, oh, that. My name's Timothy. Timothy Blacksmith. Nice to meet you. As he pulls out his hand to uh, to shake yours. Uh, do I recognize the race of this gentleman? You... Well, it's a dwarf. It's most definitely Nedley a dwarf. Uh, can you give me a... I have no idea what this would be. Maybe just a normal... History? His skin is a bit darker than normal dwarfs'. Uh, that is what you do recognize, but it's a dwarf, and he doesn't seem to be affected by sunlight. Okay. Um, I'll come closer toward him and extend out my hand to shake his. He gives a very firm hand grip. Ah, uh, I guess you're one of the adventurers. I'm sorry, adventurers? Yeah, well, um... Uh... The old leader, uh, 
he had this annoying voice coming every every morning to adventurers, worthy adventurers as he called them. And a lot a lot of these of you laddies came and uh, now now they stopped coming as often. Um when did they stop coming? Uh when when Charles died. Yeah. Around there, yeah. Thank you. Um, the store next door, the the general store, is um, who runs that? Uh, some backstabbing bastards. They uh, they tried to kill Charles. They're dead now. Uh, I'm the only one left here to actually run this place. Must get very tiresome all by uh, running two stores by yourself. Uh, I mainly keep it keep it closed, as I'm the only shopkeeper. I just keep that one closed. I have all the items in me house. Uh, I guess I will ask him uh, where the other adventurers are. Well, uh, they're sleeping. For some reason, uh, those adventurers can sleep for weeks. For weeks. Yeah, when the player's not here, the adventures just sleeps, you know. All right. Uh, any time as to when they'll be waking up, I don't want to disturb them if they're sleeping. When their players come in. Okay. <laughs> uh, Fourth wall say, breaking. <laughs> yes. Uh, I say uh, thank you for your time, sir. Uh, I'll go knock on the door again. Uh, I bet you, you didn't get any good response last time. I'll bet uh, you're a gold coin you don't get any response this time either, Mike. Well, what would I need to do to get uh, the response time? I don't want to just walk in. Well, the thing is, the adventures, well, kind of need their players to play them. Gotcha. That now I'm picking up what you're putting down. Uh, <laughs> I say, um, I'll ask him, uh, sir, I have a very odd question for you. Yeah, Shh. bring it, bring it up. Have you heard anything about strange voices that people have been, people have been hearing? Ah, yeah, that must have been Charles also. What can you tell me about Charles? He was a good lad when he lived. But alas, not all men live forever. Though he could bring the dead to life, but we all die eventually, even the necromancers. Okay. Uh... I guess I'll ask him, whose papers are those over there on the table? Well, his old, mine, now, I guess. Uh, mind if I have a t uh, mind if I have a look at those? It might be some answers for some voices that uh, I've heard people are hearing. Well, if the voices call out for where the adventurers, they are indeed from here. Um, they should have stopped when, when the old lad died. I guess yours has stopped as well, since you came here. I suppose I haven't heard anything since I've been here. Uh, but I don't want to be rude and just ask about the town. Uh, what do you have to, that you work on, Mr. Blacksmith? Uh, I, I... Right now, I'm working on on a way to retrieve me hammers when I throw them at my enemies. I thought a chain would be able to withstand, but either the chain breaks, ain't long enough, or, you know, stuck. So I tried to dabble in the, the magic gems he Charles left behind.
But yeah, you're more than merry. If if you're looking for some coin, I I am able to give you that. I have a feeling his wife came, child came. Then again, when you're talking to a person, you should expect interruptions sometimes. Also, while I'll wait for Nameless Punker to, to return from whatever uh, adventure you have at home. Oh, How do you like sorry, my new. Was, I, uh... was yes. I muted? You were muted, yeah. I apologize for that. <laughs> I didn't realize I hit my hotkey. Um. I guess I will ask him, uh, 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 cause he said he can give me some coin if I help him out. I'll say, uh, well, I suppose I could help you out and some coin would, wouldn't hurt to help pay for some wares and travel for travel. That indeed it would. Um, I feel a bit, you know, I was about to say peckish, but that's quite the opposite. We haven't had food for a while, uh, food enough to feed the whole town. Well, me. Um, so I've heard around town some wolves have been approaching slowly. So if you could, uh, or if you want company, we could uh, Go check the forest to see if there is uh, any meat for the hunt. Uh, <clears throat> well, if you want to come with me, I wouldn't shoot down the company. I would neither. It's strange to be alone for a while. Especially when you hear snoring coming from that building. Gotcha. Well, lead the way. Ah, yeah. So, that. What kind of things do you dabble in? Uh. I. Worship my god, uh. Who isn't on my character sheet. At least I don't think so. I wasn't able to see it. Uh. Um, I haven't picked a god or. Vocation for any of the spell casting classes. Gotcha. Uh, and for those, for example, hunters that have a very specific uh, um, favorite enemy and favorite ter ter terrain, I have done so that they can change it if they want. I've just okay. given an example. Um, he goes over and he picks up the wagon. As he just starts uh, trotting along, you see he barely just picks it up off the ground. <laughs> when he lifts it, he has to have his hand over his uh, over his uh, shoulders to just lift this cart over. But he does so without complaining, and he just starts walking north. Um, I I say to him, I say, hey. If you grab the right side of the cart, I'll grab the left side of the cart, and we can both carry half of it, and that'll help ease the load. Oh, I like you lot. Yeah, yeah, you think very, uh, you think very, what's the word? You don't let an old dwarf take the load by himself. That is what I mean. Well, I will do whatever I can to help people who who need help. Uh, and so I'll I grab the cart with my right hand and I'll hold the shield with my left uh, and walk with him. Yeah. Um, as you walk to as you walk towards the forest, you just so your god gives you your spells or your powers. Uh I've been studying. I know a few basic things but for the most part I just study and pray ah 
I was like that once, like, my god, you just didn't give me any answers. That's when I decided I wanted, uh, I joined this, this camp here. Now everybody's dead, I'm the only one left. Well, uh, faith is about more than solid proof, it's about having a belief in what you can, uh, having belief in that, a higher power. If you go all the way to the south, uh, you should be able to find your character down there. Uh, right. Yep, there he is. Alright. Uh, I say, how much further are the, the pack of wolves that you've heard of? Well, I actually thought uh, we would meet them on the way, but... Okay. Uh, you, uh... you have now been walking just about uh, four to six hours uh, up here. Okay, uh, so it's about, let's say, five in the afternoon? Yeah, around there, yeah. Okay, um, do I, I see them on the map, do I see them, does my character see them? Uh, well, how far can your character, how far can you see in real life? Are you able to see more than 100 feet? Uh, yes. Yeah, you can see them. Okay, uh... So I say, uh, look, Timothy, I found, uh, there's the wolves. Ah, me dwarf finds ain't that good anymore. Well, I mostly work with the metals close by, so. I say, all right, I will do my best. Uh, we can see about taking one of them. Uh, how many are there? There's... Four small ones and a big one. Uh, I'll I'll say, well, we'll see what we can do. See if they've hunted anything recently. Uh, and I start walking up to the wolves with my hand on my mace, not drawn yet, and my shield raised in front of me. Timothy uh, follows quietly after you. Are you trying to okay. stealth your way up there? No, I'm just uh, getting. I'm just preparing myself. Uh, as I get a little bit closer, I dr uh, to right about here, I draw my mace. Um, the wolf just my slowly sorry, my flail. Uh, your weapon. Yes. Uh, the wolf slowly seems to just pass by. Um, as you see from a distance, you don't see anything. Looking out of the ordinary, no wolf looks to be to be smothered in blood or wounds. Um, can you give me a perception check? Uh, yes. Do, 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 do. Boop. Uh, so you just see them just walk on through. Um, the big wolf in the middle looks down gets um, noticed that you guys are there uh, but just looks back and you know he noticed because she looked straight at you um, but you don't feel a a uh, what is it a, a feeling of anger or defense or whatever these will feel when they're walking in a pack uh, when, when a predator approaches them okay um, do I see, um, so I'm looking at the wolves, do I see that, uh, it's possible, uh, is it that the smaller ones are, ch uh, baby wolves or children wolves? No, they, the big wolf you see is, uh, just a head higher than the rest, but the other ones doesn't look to be pups. Okay, so they're full, full grown wolves. Yeah. I say, uh, I say to Timothy, they're not intimidated by us. They're not afraid of us. Uh, and right now we're about 50 feet away. Yeah, so I say to Timothy, they're not uh, intimidated by us. They're not afraid of us. Is this normal for wolves in this area? Well, to be honest, lad, 
This is the first time I've seen wolves in this area. Well, if we are to get food for the town, or just you, then they must be hunted. I agree, lot. Alright. Now, so... y you look like to be well armored. I just wear my working clothes. Can ye go forest? Wait, that's uh, some English. Can ye take the front? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Um, do you have any weapons? As he goes into his, uh, his spell around him, he pulls up two hammers, one in each hand. I say, that'll work. Just uh, play defensively. Let me worry about trying to take them down. I will follow your lead. Alright. So with my flail in hand, I continue walking toward them to about here. As they continue walking, following the trail uh, around uh, the curve of the wood. Um... Let's see. I guess I'm not gonna charge them yet. Uh, hold on. This this area right here is this flat ground all the way across. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you see some small tree nuts um, protruding from the ground, but they are. You can see over them easily. Uh, they are very deep, and you need to be really unfortunate if you trip over them. Okay. So I guess I will walk... Oh, that's the wrong one. I will walk here to try to avoid the tree stumps entirely. And she walk, they walk. Okay, uh, and then I guess I'll walk straight across to try to get a good line of sight of them to see if I can charge them. Alright. <clears throat> That's about 25 feet, right? 50 feet. Uh, 40 feet to the nearest one. Close enough. What is my move? <laughs> Speed. 30. 30? I'll just mark that on speed real quick. Uh, it wasn't there? Nope, it was... Yeah, it wasn't there. Huh. I figured it was 30, I just wanted to see, make sure. Um, I see where this is going, and I make the decision, and I tell Timothy, I say, stay close and I charge at them before you charge can you roll me initiative yes uh, not uh, <laughs> can't uh, wolf. oh that And you rolled a four, which apparently didn't show. Yeah. And Timothy. Uh, I think one of the reasons it didn't show was because you didn't highlight your character when you roll. I don't know. Oh, gotcha. Okay. As you prepare to charge in, the big wolf in the middle just turns around, looks at you, and you can hear a growl, sounding just a slightly bit like, What do you want? Uh, I could hear that? Yes. Okay. 
and the second before I charge, I guess uh, I guess I'll hold off on the charge for a half second. I'll say, I'll, I'll I'll turn to Timothy and I'll say, "Did you hear that?" He looks at you with big eyes. About you, you can see on his mouth that he was about to ask the same question to you. I guess I'll hold my shield in front of me and peek over it with just my face showing, and I'll say, um, "Can you speak?" <sighs> and that was just an unintelligible growl. It was just a growl, yeah. Okay. Um, I guess I go forward with my charge. All right. Um, you take your charge. Uh, just before you take your charge, the other wolf turns around to to look at you. Uh, walking behind its its leader, presumably leader. Uh, yes. Charging. 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 If you want to charge, charge. Rar. Are you actually saying rar as you run closer? No, uh, my battle cry is going to be something better, like uh, for Narnia. <laughs> okay. As you run closer, yelling out with the top of your lungs, for Narnia. Um, the wolf. Prepares itself for, Im for impact, seeing as you come closer. Why did I put down the character sheets when I had them open? Um, as you come closer, it just looks up. Well, that's a good beginning. It just looks up at you, and just as you come closer, a flail lifted, um, feeling your intent to to um, for damage, to attack, to kill. It just jumps up and bites you at your stomach. Um, let's just not do the the critical role thingy for level one characters against level one characters. Kind of, right, so. kind of cheat. I have a crit cheat, a crit sheet. By the way, gotcha. Uh, that can be really gruesome. Piercing. Oh yeah. Uh, they you can be really gruesome. Um. So yeah, you should. You take six points of damage. All right. So put my current hit points to six. I see you as that. As Timothy runs with you, sees the. sees that you just got bitten by it in mid run. He picks up one of the hammer he has in his hand and he just hurls it at the, at the wolf. Hitting it for nine points of damage. As he just come running towards you, hurling mid run as he sees it jumps up to bite you, the wolf grabs onto you as this hammer just pounces it into the side, scratching, sh scraping all across the, the side of the wolf. Um, hitting the back hip and just flunking to the ground. Um, Timothy runs as far as he can. The other wolves just start to flank out. Um, oh, no, no, there. And these two goes down there and over there. One of them attacks you. 
Encounters with... 23! Dang! Yeah, that's, uh... That's not good. <laughs> that's not good! For six points of damage. Alright, now I need a, a strength saving throw, right? Well, you, you can also did, needed that last time. But yeah. Uh, you take six points of damage. As the other three attacks. That's another nat 20. Wow. As two of the other wolves hit Timothy. For a total of... That must be 13 points of damage. Damn! Yeah, that's uh, that's less than good. Okay, so... That was... Uh, so if that other wolf hit me for 6, then that dropped me to 0. Yep. Um, I did not expect me to roll too that well. Yeah, that uh, dice can be fickle. I thought you were kind of safe, just you know, having eighteen armor class. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So strength save check, uh, saving throw, right? Yeah. And then take six damage from the other one as well, the other wolf as well, which brings you to zero. Uh, you save, so you aren't thrown, thrown backwards, but you are thrown unconscious. Okay. Uh, and. I need you to make a death saving throw. Which is in that one. Yeah. It's not... Thank you for driving by. <laughs> the fuck? Um, yeah. Well, that just happened. Uh, the wolf looking over you sniffs at you and then starts licking your face. Well, you can't you can't see this because you're kind of conscious. Timothy is seeing this display as he just looks to swing around. He sees that he's now surrounded by three wolves, and then he just doesn't attack. Just hit the enemies as he just drops his hammer downwards, um, looking out, surrounded by three wolves, well, five wolves, and seeing you just knocked unconscious, he just looks up. I don't want any trouble. Can I, uh, can I still say that? As the other wolf doesn't respond with retaliation, my apparently my connection to Roll Twenty is bad. The other yeah, wolf, I just got that. the other wolf just looks at him, ready for attack. If in case he should still attack, can you make me another death saving throw? I can try. Let's see what happens. Nope. Well, that's. That's two failures. That's three failures. Nat natural one. Oh yeah, natural one is yeah. Um. Yeah. Rip Goku. Rip Goku. <laughs> that Somebody was. Give me a... I need a sensu bean. <laughs> I was actually trying to give you that with the wisdom saving throw for the wolf. Yeah, I just... Honestly, that just did not go very well at all. 
at all. Although this should be bolt. That, um, well, Goku's dead. Yup. Timothy just slowly picks up his hammer very slowly and just backs up very slowly. The other hammer returns to him because, well, he was dabbling with that and he just buckets. Let me just get everybody back. Um, yeah. Well, uh, you're a wolf meat now. In the... Yeah. Yeah. Rip, rip Goku. It was a short, but very, um... Decisive campaign. <laughs> campaign arc. Uh, let me just get your character and just, you know, bring it in here and, you know, just bury it. There we go. Let's just put it coming in with all these. And just show the nameplate. And that. well, that was uh, that happened. Yeah, not in a, not in a good way either. How long did that last? Uh, about half thirty an hour? minutes. Half an hour, three quarters. Yep, thirty to forty-five minutes. That is not that full string. That's actually more of a full string. Like that. Well, I rolled high. <laughs> and I, I did just not. I just noticed that I should actually have gotten another ten damage off of uh, off on on Timothy. Well, it survived anyway, but... Well... Um... See, viewers? This is why we need help. I guess? Because people die very easily when... Only one player is running amok in the woods. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Open d, &D. If you want to see more... Click a link down below. Oh, sorry. If you want to see more, click subscribe down below. And if you really like this video, like it down below as well. And you can see me over on Twitch where I'll, well, both play this game and many other games. So if you want to see more of that, head over to twitch.tv slash Monkey where I'll be playing Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays for some D&D. D&D at... Maybe a bit more D&D. Who knows? Anyway, thank you guys and see you all later. Bye.